Welcome to Wonderland Weekly, hosted by Toronto Tai. Now sit back and have a wonderful week. Hey everyone, Toronto Tai here. I've been revisiting my 10 plus year prediction video and thinking a lot about the kids park. There are a lot of possibilities, and while I love the addition of Beagle Brigade Airfield, there's still a lot more potential for additional expansion. Similar to my previous what if videos, this isn't so much a prediction as it is exploring the possibilities. While I'm not taking cost into account nor proposing any timeline for these additions, I went into this with a few restrictions to keep myself from getting too carried away. I'll try to detail those in the video description, but the very basics are number one, Existing rides may be relocated, but they cannot be removed. Number two, everything must be theoretically possible. To the best of my ability, I researched and measured every aspect of these additions. Number three, there should be more or less consistent theming for each section of the kids park. So without further ado, I ask the question, what if Wonderland completely overhauled the kids park? Let's start with Kidsville. I'm proposing another Maple Park Treehouse expansion with a fairly large additional play structure bordering Silver Streak's access road. Beyond that, I think the park could add some desperately needed additional patio seating between the Tim Hortons Express and Playhouse Theater, as well as some more tables under a third giant umbrella located in front of the parents' rest zone. But enough about patios, and on to theming! Like many others, I'd like to see the park continue the Canadian theming they started with the re-themed Maple Park Treehouse, Sugar Shack, and Treetop Adventure. As I said in my 10-year expansion plan, I really, really want to see Flying Eagles renamed Wild Goose Chase, while the area itself would make sense to be Maple Park. Looking at the other attractions in the area, Playhouse Theater can go back to the Woodland Theater name it had when the park first opened, including a new roof over the stage to make it less susceptible to inclement weather closure. All the buildings in the area can take on a look similar to the now-retired Mountainside Bakery and Cafe, with the existing food locations listed as Maple Park Subway, Maple Park Pizza Pizza, and Maple Park Poutinery. Schoolhouse snacks can lose the snacks and become a Maple Park Refresh Center with Coke Freestyle machines. For the parents' rest zone, a shop, arcade, baby care, and security building, I propose the name Creature Comforts. In front of Creature Comforts, we can lose this wayfinding sign and instead have a carved wooden sculpture similar to what we've seen in front of Soaring Timbers. As for the rides, Swing Time can be repainted to become the Butterflyer. Kidsville Station can take the name Sweetwater Station as a reference to Maple Sap. Frequent Flyers can become Forest Flyers, and Jokey's Jalopies can become Maple Motorway. Taxi Jam is a bit more difficult because the possibilities are pretty much endless with such a simple coaster layout. I was trying to find some cute insect as the inspiration with both the rosy maple moth and pink meadow grasshopper standing out. So I suggest Meadow Hopper as a name with the first five cars painted like green grasshoppers and the last car painted pink, all hopping along the little hills of this kitty coaster. Obviously, the signboards would have to be switched out to something inspired by nature. Personally, I think a large leaf with a bite out of it would be a perfect replacement for the absurd pileup, and the Funway billboard can be a log with happy smiling insects. Finally, the station pillars can be stalks of tall grass or flower stems, overall making this an even more adorable and photogenic junior coaster. Oh, and for the on-ride photo shop, it can be named Hoppy Photos. And with that hoppy thought, let's hop on over to Zoom Zone, 
the never really retired but just kind of forgotten themed area that debuted in 2001. Since the area is so compact, I say let's go all in on the Maple Park theme here as well, starting with Silver Streak. I propose the name Lynx Hijinks, inspired by the playful nature of this iconic Canadian creature. Not much needs to be done to retheme this coaster, probably just some new paint for the station and new signs would be enough. The other two rides in this ultimate transportation destination are very challenging to fit into the Maple Park theme I'm proposing, which is why I think it makes sense to just relocate Blast Off and Jumpin' Jet to Planet Snoopy. With those two out of the way, there's quite a bit more expansion room for this area, but I'd like to start with adding a second path into this section so it's no longer a dead end taking over a portion of what's currently an access road leading to the food building in Planet Snoopy. I'm not sure how frequently this road is used while the park is open, but with one of the changes I'll discuss later, I really don't think this will be much of an inconvenience for park staff. Also, remember when I said schoolhouse snacks would lose the snacks? Well, I'm putting all those sweets and frozen treats in a new location here under the name Raccoon Refreshments. Now on to the new rides. I, for one, love the concept of the Fabri I Love Frogs. Assuming the park could request a different theme, I propose the name Owl Around. Maybe with each seat themed to an owl head, since the motion kind of resembles the extreme neck rotation owls are able to achieve. A Preston and Barbieri Tower would also be nice, themed to the Blue Nose Schooner and named High Seas. Speaking of Preston and Barbieri, its deep water model would be perfect for a beaver-based ride featuring beaver figures underwater to be seen through the ride's glass floor, and a backdrop mural depicting a beaver dam under construction painted on the backside of Creature Comforts. Although there's a near endless number of beaver puns to use as inspiration, I'm simply going to call this ride Beaver Trail, which seems the most harmless. Last but not least for this area, I think the park could and should get a Zamperla Lolly Swing themed to a tree and named Sappy Swing. Yes, the park has swing time for kids, but the Lolly Swing allows parents to ride with their kids, which I think is always nice. That will wrap it up for my look at the Kidsville Maple Park possibilities, and because this is taking far longer than I anticipated, We'll be moving right along to the incredibly landlocked Planet Snoopy in a future video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, and until next time, as always, have a good one! Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.